Oh, good morning. A oh, very good morning to you, and welcome to today's RC. Mmm, coffee chat. I could really, that's my second one this morning, and uh, I can tell you I needed it. Right, what have we got on the topics for you this morning? Um, we've got, yay, me, as topic number one. <laughs> We're so camp. Look, if you can't laugh at yourself, who else can you laugh at, you know? Uh, we've got a mini race swing as well. Uh, we've got the Easter break. Uh, oh, no, sorry, no, let me get this right. We've got, yay me! Uh, we've got the mini race swing. We'll be getting onto a topic on that in a moment. We've got the Keisu. Uh, so some of you may know about Dave's Keisu. And I pants, I haven't got the video out. I'll tell you what I do. Uh, after this episode's finished, I'll put a link to, at the end, uh, to Dave's Keisu. Uh, brilliant little model. We'll be discussing that one in a few moments time. I've got a heads up for you for the Easter break uh, as well. I'm going to give you like some good news now. It depends which way you look at it. Uh, is that I'm going to have a couple of days off uh, in short. Uh, I want to give you some notice on that one uh, and some thank yous as well. So well with that said, good morning to everybody who is on here this morning. Uh, Elijah, thank you for letting me know about the audio. That is always appreciated. Those of you which should join me live for these sessions, if you can let me know the audio is good at the beginning, uh, that is very helpful because we have sat here before and I've been here chatting away and the microphone has not worked. So always fun that one. Uh, right, let's do the yay me uh, one at the beginning. Uh, I'm hopefully, hope, well, I'm fingers crossed today. Uh, see that little number just up there on the top of your screen. Uh, I hope uh, today we might hit a million views, which I think is definitely worth of a yay me uh, for it. So that's enough self-indulgence. Let's move quickly on to topic number two. Now, topic number two is that... I'm sure many of you will remember the mini race wing. Uh, Sir Bruce had one, there was one featured on flight test, and just to quickly recap um, the, 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 the approach behind this one, again, I might miller it a bit, so leave any thoughts in the live chat or in the comments section underneath this episode. Uh, in short, it was a mini race wing. They used the carbon fiber uh, main fuselage, uh, Bruce did have a couple of issues with his, but then he had a pre-production sample. Uh, we did look at it here in the RC Coffee Chat many, many moons away, uh, many moons ago. Uh, and um, I, I think my summary at the time was that mm, not entirely sold on a carbon fibre frame in the middle. Uh, it did, my, my, my view was, it, it then was that I did see it as a bit of like a safety point of view. I, we, how do I explain this one? So uh, on whichever day me and Andrew went out, Sunday morning, uh, Andrew did have a speed gun with him and uh, we were trying to get the speed off the EF Extra. And he was saying, well, why don't you bring it down for a low pass? And I'm thinking, fucking hell, EF Extra has got a, basically a bullet on the end uh, and I don't want that anywhere near me. So uh, we didn't get really like proper accurate readings because I kept it as far away from us as possible which I do in a model like that it's just general I don't want a model like that going stupidly close to me at full chat because one human error uh, and it could be horrible uh, so models like that I do tend to keep them a little bit higher uh, and definitely a little bit further away than what I would do with just like a normal foam wing so um, my like safety officer hat kicks in uh, on the flight line and like keep that away, do stuff over there. And my concern with this one is that it's a very good idea using carbon fiber for the main fuselage. Uh, it gives you more flexibility or more rigidity in what's going in. Uh, but my consensus at the time is that there was no way in a blue monkeys that I was gonna buy one because they were rather expensive. I did like the fin cord. Uh, I did like the idea of them. Uh, and cost was a major factor. Now, what's been on gone on? So I think they were, uh, I, I'll, I'll know this value is wrong. I'm gonna say 200 euros approximately. Uh, I'm thinking in the back of my head, there was a, something on Kickstarter for 250 euros for one of them, uh, for them. And I'm just trying to keep a uh, quick half eye on your chat as well. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, so mini race wing. Kind of liked it, but did have like a bit of a safety concern over the carbon fiber lump in the middle. 
that felt a little bit unsafe to me, but I did like the idea of it, but I never went on and bought one. Um, I felt it was overpriced for what it was. Now, literally this morning, I've run in out here a little bit late, just looked onto Banggood, and there are now uh, two versions available at a much affordable price point. Uh, we are talking a 140 euros and uh, under 100, uh, sorry, 140 dollars, uh, which is way below the price point of what the Mini Race Wing was. Uh, and also there's a just a kit version, uh, which is well underneath the $100 mark for $93. And I've put links to those in the video description for you. Uh, good morning, Ref, by the way. We'll get to a show and take corner in just a moment. Um, and uh, if we were flight test, we would go on and say, bang, it is terrible. Uh, and things like that. But no, this remember, this is a third party company called Tech One, uh, and they are known for numerous different models. You can look them up on the interwebs. In fact, why didn't I just do that very quickly? Tech One, Tech One Hob. I think that's it. They do absolute shed loads of different models. I hope this is going to load up in uh, some form of speed. I'm guessing it's a, it's a Chinese based site, so this is their actual uh, site themselves. Uh, I'm sure you recognize uh, like the DLG 1000, so actually you re you'll recognize that model because uh, there's a similar model to that which is on Hobby King. There's one, another one, unbranded one, which is on uh, Banggood. Uh, currently the Confetti, which many of you will recognize on there as well. Um, but the point which I'm trying to make here is most models are rehashes of other models, uh, to be fair. And I've quickly have a look in, in here, uh, we'll have a look in Flying Wing. Uh, and most of these models you will recognize on there. Look, Nano Flying Wing, does that not look like the little Sonic one, uh, which is kicking around? Uh, let's go into Flying Wings and see if we not spot anything in here, which we recognize. Uh, the Pop Wing, okay, the Bonsai. Uh, so in the US, you'll probably know that as a Pop Wing. Uh, in, Hobby King have got their own version called a Bonsai, okay? Uh, the same as the Texumo is just another pop wing, okay? Uh, you've got the Neptune EDF. Uh, again, you'll see that done in a couple of different places. Let me just choose a different uh, category altogether. Uh, and remember, this is a... That wasn't very good, was it? Let's go to scale and see what we got on here. Uh, no, they've got a Crofetti, which is the uh, ME163. Uh, yeah, which is, right, M ME163. Uh, so, yeah, coming back onto the topic, there there are blatant, they, they have borrowed the carbon fibre fuselage section and the two spars which go out. That is a similarity. But when you actually look, different, look, look into it a little bit deeper, uh, you have a different wingspan uh, length on there. You've got the winglets on the end and not on the middle of the fins uh, like that. So you, they've got the fins in the middle. Uh, whereas on this one, they've got the fins on the end. Uh, the point which I'm making is that if you do look closely, there are enough differences to say that it is a different model. So that probably gets past any trademark laws uh, which have been kicked in. Also, they do have to come. You probably can't see that because my head's in the way. Let me move that out. Wrong one. There we go. There we go. You do have like carbon fiber inserts on the inside as well. But for all intents and purposes, it is very, very similar. Now, you may be wondering, Matt, are you going to get one of these? And the answer is no. I'm still going to sit in my little trench and say I think it's a very good idea. Uh, it has definitely has some positives to it. Again, it's got a thinner cord. It's going to be a little bit nippy and things like that. But am I going to buy one out of my own money? The answer is going to be um, no. Uh, in short, uh, I personally feel that you can have more fun with one of those little flying blades, for example. Similar wing size, uh, half the price, uh, less than half the price as well. Uh, and yeah, just not for me. So I'm going to go on record for that one. I think I'm going to say the mini race wing, which we saw many moons ago, uh, is was a very good idea. But I had a concern around safety of it, and that's why, and they were also rather expensive. Hands up. Not my, not for me, and I love wings. Uh, not for me. There is, uh, in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the near future, there's going to be one coming out from Tech One, uh, which will be available on Banggood, and I'm sure we'll see uh, other versions of that coming out on uh, other hobby sites 
in the impending future. Uh, give it a couple of months, it, it'll be out there, probably rebranded, relabeled as a different supplier. Uh, it's just kind of what happens. Uh, but for me, no. Uh, in short, I, it's very rare I say no to a flying wing. Uh, but I said no originally to the mini race wing. I'm going to say no to that one. But you may be in a different camp to me. You may like the idea of having the ability to have... Uh, in fact, let me just put this right picture, get this picture up. And I'll, let me turn my head off a mo. There we go. You may like this format. You may... Because it will compress down to a small pack size. Uh, so maybe you want to stick it in the back of a rucksack uh, and go for a wander up a hill and then chuck it off the top. That would be pretty cool. It's... It will be pretty tough. You've got the battery on the top. You can put your Mobius or your Runcam 2 in there. Uh, it looks like they've borrowed the same strut me mechanism at the back to move the motor backwards and forwards to hit CG. Decent payload of battery, but just not for me, uh, in short. So I don't know, what, what's your thoughts on this? What was your thoughts on the mini, uh, the original mini race wing? What's your thoughts on this adaptation? Uh, of it there, there's definitely similarities there well there's obvious similarities the wings come off and uh, uh, it's a carbon fiber based fuselage but when you do look closely I hasten to add uh, there are definite design differences in there enough to say that you could say it's inspired by uh, but there it is blatantly different uh, between the two so uh, just looking uh, at your chat in here uh, Turbo Tyler says that tech one wing is sweet I agree with you. Very thing called, it's going to be batshit crazy, just like the mini race wing as well. It's going to be fast, uh, in short. Um, yeah, it's a curious one. So I tell you what, uh, let's have a... <laughs> this is like waiting in the doctor's office. Right, let's move across to Shout Out Corner. I think it's time we move away from that topic now. Uh, so a very good morning to those of you which are on the live chat. Now, obviously, if you're watching the recorded version, you can say good morning, good afternoon, evening uh, in the comments section underneath. And remember, I do my absolute best to reply to all comments which are uh, left on this YouTube channel. Uh, so a very good morning to Ruds, Stick Mix, uh, and Brian. And good spot, uh, good spot this morning, Brian. I left the video as unlisted, so thank you for that one. I do appreciate it. Just taking a quick slurp of coffee. Uh, good morning, Roddy. Good morning, Lauren and Brad. Uh, scrolling down. Good morning, not really me. Uh, <laughs> just calling down Roy, and that always makes me giggle. Uh, go to four nine nine. Good morning, Elijah. Good morning as well. Um, did I just mull your name again? Oh, I'm so bad. Sorry, it's me being Restonian. It's totally my fault. Uh, Phil, good morning. Uh, scrolling down, scrolling down. And there's been a lot of chat in here this morning. Uh, Henry, good morning. Royden, good morning. Kevin, good morning. Gordon, good morning. Scott, good morning. Andy, good morning. Philip, good morning. Riff, good morning. Stu Jade, good morning. Olin, FP, FPV. Joe, good morning. Flies Banham, good morning as well. Says Pilot, good morning. Good morning from the sunny Seychelles. I am rather jealous of you, uh, to say the least. I bet it's absolutely beautiful over there with you at the moment. Uh, scrolling down, uh, good morning Kim as well, uh, seeing some new names in here this morning too, uh, good morning 7demo7 7 7. Jeff, uh, Jeff I loved your uh, mini draft live version last night, big tip for you is just carry on with whatever happens in live, it's one of the fun, it's one of the most exhilarating parts of doing stuff live, uh, is you never really know what's going to happen even if you have a little notes list to keep you on topic, invariably you do go off topic quite quickly, as many of you already know. Uh, good morning, Andy, as well. Uh, Green Patches, good morning, Van. Good morning, Jim. And I think I've got everybody in here this morning. Obviously, if I've been and missed your name, I do apologise. It's not on purpose. So that was topic uh, number one and two. Topic number three. Uh, is I need to get this up on the right screen. So uh, many of you know Sir Dave of Pinnock. He's one of the lads which I fly with. Uh, and Dave, uh, he basically saw that I, I, I had twin zoo here. Uh, and he thought, well, I don't really want to pay $130 for twin zoo, but I really do kind of like the format. Uh, so he's been and built it. <coughs> Excuse me. He went on and built himself a what he calls a Kisu. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether it was K, uh, but you just call it the KSU. And it's a corking little model, which has been made out of some Depron. Now, I've put a link to Dave's blog post uh, for the build overview, and that's in the video description already uh, for you. Uh, now, we're going to go and take a look at some, at some pictures, and it's a little cracker of a model. So, tell you what, let, me let me turn my head off so you can see what's going on here. So, uh, you'll see that it's a scratch build. Uh, he's using a KFM2 aerofoil. Uh, in there and you can see he spent some time in here because he's rounding off all the corners made a really lovely job of it uh, he's got a pair of twin booms which come out the back for the tail uh, and let me just move on to the next image and there she is being built and you'll see what Dave's done for he's made twin motor mounts in here and got the servos mounted uh, out on the wings and you can see he's even put either some black tape or some covering film uh, on there and also laminated uh, the model too uh, if I scroll on, there's the like the finished article, uh, and I think he's made a really good job of it. And again, to keep the uh, weight, get the uh, CG right, he's put the server at the back of the fuselage uh, here. So rather than having it on the boom like you would have, say, on the Micro Sky Munter, uh, he's put it out on the bag uh, on the back. He's given it a lovely uh, blue paint job. Oh, one little note, a uh, bit of feedback, which I'm sure. Dave mentions in the actual blog post itself is that it could do with a little bit more uh, roll uh, or uh, aileron, aileron uh, authority. So maybe if you were building yours uh, off what they the plans that will the details which Dave's put in there uh, is that definitely give yourself or make yourself some bigger uh, ailerons on it so it's got a little bit more authority. Uh, but on the flip side, I've seen it fly on the flight line and it does really, really well. Uh, as in that you get really decent flight times with it, um, even with the twin motors. Now, there is a bit of a, a we, we had a slight issue on the flight line is the, the original motors which he had on the front uh, the ESCs were only rated to 2 to 3S batteries uh, and Dave thought he'd give 4S a go uh, and I really wish that I had the camera rolling at the time because we had a lot, and I mean a lot, of magic pixie smoke uh, on the flight line. Uh, it was horrific. <laughs> you know, the amount of pixie smoke came out. There was smoke pouring out the back, the front, and he blew a motor as well. Oh yeah, it, it was absolutely hilarious. I really wish I was recording it at the time. Uh, but he's gone on, he's put some decent uh, motors on the front there, and you'll see that he's got the FPV gear on the top, he's got the camera in the front, and then putting a battery up on the front too. Uh, and it does fly fantastically well. In fact, let's go back to that one. Uh, it flies really, really well. And obviously, uh, total cost was probably quite minimal. We're talking about some Deprom uh, in here, and uh, a couple of booms, which he's got in the back. I don't know where he got those from, but... You could pretty much use anything uh, similar uh, in short, and it does fly remarkably uh, well. Like I said, what I would do at the end of this episode, I'll put a link uh, to Dave's uh, Keisu uh, launch video and some FPV flight footage uh, from the flight line of the Keisu. Great little model, very maneuverable. Uh, it can be compared to maybe like the Micro Sky Munter, for example, but with twin motors uh, on the front. A really good handful. I'm actually, to be honest, I want one. I'm kind of impressed by it. Uh, but time is a bit tight. That's why I've always liked uh, buying models off the shelf is because generally, generally speaking, the time input is qu quite a bit less. Whereas Dave kind of just like made it up as he went along. Uh, and actually this time he got really lucky with it and it turned out to be an absolute corking model. A uh, good I missed someone's name in there. Oh, good morning, Lee, as well. Just saw a new name uh, go in there, too. So, yeah, De uh, Sir Dave of Penix Kesu. Corking little model. Uh, you may have seen it live from the flight line in one of the live episodes, which we've been and done. Uh, and like I said, I'll put a link into uh, one of Dave's videos at the end down in the video description for you uh, as well. So that was topic number three. Now, topic number four uh, is the Easter break so as many of you know it was it's Easter here this weekend now um, most of my well part of my team is based in the Philippines and they actually take off Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday whereas here in the New United Kingdom we get Friday Saturday and Monday uh, so what we like to do is play fair so the Philippine team has 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because it was on weekends off anyway, and they also have Monday off as well. Um, so to give you a heads up, uh, I'm looking at this Easter weekend as being a double bank holiday uh, here as well, with an extra day in it, because like I said, most of our team uh, is based in the Philippines. Um, so I've got some, well, I've got some bad news for you in short. Um, as of Thursday, I'm going to take a couple of days off uh, from the RC Coffee Chats. Uh, in the short, I'd, I'd kind of fancy a break, to be honest. There, there's no other reasons for it. I'm not bored of doing them. There, there's, I, I really enjoy it. I just fancy a break, you know. And I'm looking out there and it's 20 past six in the morning and the sun's out. Uh, also, I've got to be frankly honest with you, I do feel a bit porky and I do fancy a couple of days out on the bike. Now, obviously, that's going to only have a short-term impact, uh, but I do fancy going out on the, the bike first thing in the morning. So, um, yeah, in short, we're not going to have some RC coffee chats for a couple of days uh, as of Thursday. Uh, and that's just purely down to, I'm looking at the Easter weekend, I'm kind of fancying, well, maybe I'll take a break for a couple of days. And I'm sure you can appreciate that. We have been pretty full on. We're up to episode 170 and I know that we've missed a couple of days. We had that week a short while back uh, and we've had the odd morning where I've been in overslept. So uh, frankly, uh, frankly speaking, I really do fancy a break. Uh, now, I also want to give you a heads up. Uh, what have I written my notes in here? Um, don't think I'm going away. Don't think I, oh man, he's RC and stuff like that. Uh, in short, uh, it's going to be a fantastic flying weekend. I've been and checked the weather here. Let me just grab a tab up so you can see what the uh, weather is going to be like here in the United Kingdom of maybe sunny, maybe a little bit windiness. Uh, today actually looks like a perfect flying day, but today is a work day. Uh, let's go from Thursday. Yeah, not too bad for flying. Friday could be a slope soaring day. Bit of a mix on there, Saturday, uh, but perfectly flyable off the flight line. Saturday, mm, weird wind direction. We need to sort out a slope for that. If it continues, again, we'll, we're a couple of days ahead of ourselves. Sunday and Monday doesn't look too bad. All perfectly flyable wind uh, weather and wind and weather conditions, a.k.a. it's not raining, so it could be a flying day, uh, in short. Uh, and also, I've got a collection of models which I would like to do some... Uh, I, I was thinking, first thing I'm thinking about doing some recordings of, but I actually kind of like the live stuff. So there's a couple of models which I'd like to give some overviews to, such as the XUAV Clouds. Uh, I'd like to do a live session on that one. Uh, I would also like to do one on the Mini Drac as well, post the changes which I've been a part of mine. Uh, the Twin Zoo, the Wombat. Also, I need to do an episode uh, on the models for 50 quid or less, which is for the Micro Sky Manta. Uh, I absolutely love those little models. Um, so I've got a collection of episodes which I'd like to get out. Uh, and I'm looking at the weekend that potentially I can be and get, and get that done. Uh, so let's have a quick look. Yes, <laughs> sorry, I just read Lee's, co uh, Lee's comment uh, in there. So yes, to give you a heads up, the Easter weekend, uh, I am looking at as an opportunity to take a break from the RC Coffee Chat. So we're gonna have a, uh, an intermission uh, in there. And I wanna do wanna stress to you, it's not like I've had enough, I'm not at burnout, I'm, I'm not, I'm not burnt out in short. That's the bit which I wanna stress to you. I just fancy a couple of days break uh, where I can get up, I can perhaps go cycling. Uh, I also have uh, a framework which we've been working here um, for what you know is work and my class is generally fun, uh, which we've been coding for a while. Uh, I would like to spend some time in the mornings working on that as a new project as well. So I've got lots of other things in here which I'd like to be doing first thing in the morning uh, and I'm looking at the Easter weekend just to have a break now. Like we saw, the weather looks pretty good uh, for the next couple of days, so we will definitely be live uh, from the flight line in the impending future. Uh, and as always, it will be ad hoc and as raw as it always has been and probably will always will be uh, from the flight line, which is just a couple of lads on the flight line, having some fun, chucking some model around and just having fun uh, in short. So, and 
That brings us nicely on to the last topic, which is again, thank you to everybody who's been and filled out that questionnaire, which I put up a couple of days back. Uh, we are well over a hundred responses now. Uh, and again, I would like to sit down and look at that in more depth as well over the, uh, the next couple of days to, to take on your feedback uh, on the actual channel itself. And <clears throat> also make a, a kind of plan for the future too. Uh, as well so that we get some more structure and you get a better idea of what to expect from <clears throat> excuse me that's what I like the live stuff that if you were recording that you would have edited that out instead I'll take a sip of coffee and make a plan for the future so in short uh, again I'm trying to keep half an eye on the chat in the background I do apologize if you've asked me a question in there again uh, and remember, I do go back and watch these episodes afterwards. If you do have a question, uh, and maybe I've missed it, and again, I can see there's quite, been quite a bit of chat going on here this morning. Remember, the Facebook group is always open. Uh, the It's called Rag the Nuts Off. There's a link to that in the video description. I don't know how many cool pilots we've got in there so far. Uh, let me scroll back up. There we go. Uh, we have, it's like a jackpot, actually. We have 777 cool pilots like me and you in the Facebook group. There is a link to that uh, in the video description. Uh, and literally, that's like the after party to the RC Coffee Chat. Also, it's a fantastic place to ask any questions, um, it, whether it be something which you made class is simple. We had, there was a question which went on there. Somebody was live on the flight line and one of their ESCs was playing up. Uh, there's, there was a like, question in there about Banggood shipping. I use it to ask random questions as well. I don't ever pretend to be the expert and the, the Facebook group for me is just a fantastic place. Number one, we can all laugh together at our unscheduled landings. So if you do have a bit of phone snow uh, or an unscheduled landing, get whip your phone out, take a photograph of it and share it in the Facebook group. Also, if you've got um, a question, if you're stuck on something, ask in the Facebook group. Chances are, no, it's extremely likely somebody in the Facebook group knows the answer to the question which you're stuck on. And trust me, I do ask questions in that group as well. Uh, and the, uh, the wealth of experience which is available to both myself and you too is all there in the Facebook group. So uh, if you haven't joined the Facebooks group yet, there is a link to that in the video description for you. It's free to join. There is a join button in again in the top right hand corner. Uh, click on join and one of us will pick up your request later this morning. So to recap today's RC Coffee Chat, uh, number one was, yay me! Uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm, I'm, it's gonna make no difference. I'm just looking forward to just getting that one million marker. Uh, written at the top of my Facebook dashboard, uh, sorry, my YouTube dashboard. I think that's quite an achievement, a million views. That's not bad going. So that was, you have to excuse me, that was the indulgent, yay me, uh, section. And that's me taking a piss out of me. Right, uh, topic number two, we had the mini race wing. So uh, as many of you remember, we had the mini race wing come out a couple of months back. You've heard my thoughts on that one. And, and I'm sure many of you remember my thoughts at the time. I did kind of like it, felt it was expensive. Already said that I didn't, probably won't ever own one. Uh, good news is that it has suddenly become a little bit more affordable to say the least with some adaptations. Uh, there's, a, there's a plug and fly kit out there for about $140 shortly, I'm sure. Uh, and there's a kit version uh, available for under a sub $100, which I don't know, and again, I don't know how well it flies. I'm not unlikely to go and own one. I'm not gonna dish out my cash to go and get one. So maybe you like the mini race wing, but felt maybe it was a tad expensive. There is no a uh, potential alternative uh, out there in the impending future. I've put links to that one uh, in the video description. And as always, for absolute clarity, they are affiliate links. And if you use those links and go on to purchase something from Banggood, you will be supporting this YouTube channel. Topic number three was a absolute cork, and I am, uh, once I've finished talking to you right now, I am gonna go and put that link to that video uh, in the video description to Dave's uh, uh, FPV flight footage, where he's just sat there and he just launched, well, no, he's the left hand launched and just launches it off, uh, sat there in the chair, corking a little model uh, called the K-Suit. There's the link to Dave's blog post on that one, so you can see the images for yourself. Uh, and to be honest, I kind of want one. Uh, so 
I've got two kind of options sat in the back of my head. Do I go and bribe Dave to go and make me one? Uh, or do I have a go at building one myself? I don't know. I've got lots to get on with, so... Yeah, don't know. But I do really want one. Uh, and then, of course, it's a bit of foam board, a couple of carbon rods, two, three servos, two ESCs, two little motors, a bit of FPV gear, super cheap. And uh, to be honest, it did fly remarkably well. To the point, like I said, I want one. Uh, very, very cool little models uh, in there as well. Uh, Matt, giveaway time for the... Uh, no, <laughs> I'm going to sit, sit mix. I was going to do something then and I'll save that one for another day. I think I've offended enough people this month. Uh, I will save that one for the flight line <laughs> for a later day. Um, and it needs... To, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I amuse myself. I will save that action for a later day. Uh, there probably won't be a giveaway for it, um, uh, for the million count. Uh, it, it's just a count, you know. Uh, I, I just want to see the number on the screen. It means nothing. That's why I was taking a piss out of, yay me! Because uh, that's just me taking a piss out of me, you know. Uh, and anyway, the Keisu corking little model. Coming back onto the topic, the Easter break, uh, to give you some warning. I just fancy a couple of days off. I want to reiterate, I don't feel burnt out. I just fancy a couple of days out uh, to go and get some fresh air in the morning. Enjoy the sunshine. The sun is out and it's beautiful out there. I can hear the birds singing here behind me. Uh, they're having fun. I wanna go and chuck a model around uh, first thing in the morning. I'd like to get on the bike as well. Like I said, I do feel a little bit unfit at the moment uh, and I'd like to get some cycling in as well. Uh, and also I'd like to stress, that isn't me just saying, Right, no more videos ever, you know. It's it's not that at all. Just saying, I'm going to take a couple of days off from the RC Coffee Chat. Uh, but we will still be around doing some live stuff. Uh, it will be a little bit ad hoc. We, Like I said, I've got a couple of models which I would like to uh, share some overviews with you. Uh, we will be doing that uh, live, uh, most likely over the weekend. Uh, so do look out for those episodes. And you'll be joining me there over on the workbench with a specific model and of course if you've got any questions about that model uh, we will take them ad hoc there and then uh, and go from there in short and the last topic which we covered today was thank yous thank you to everybody uh, who's been filled in that form there is still a link if you don't know what the questionnaire is you haven't seen that before down in the video description underneath this video there is a link to a Google's form where you can provide some feedback uh, on these RC coffee chats. Uh, like I said, there's been a well over 100 responses now, uh, and I'm gonna take the time to sit down and look at all the responses and see how I can improve this channel for you uh, over the next weeks, etc., etc. So on that note, if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. Uh, these are typically RC Coffee Chats, which we run every single morning. Like you just heard, we are gonna be taking a break for a couple of days uh, shortly, but normally we run them every single morning. Uh, like I said, if you are new here, there is a subscribe button underneath this video, little red button where it says Matthew Ogborn. I'm Matt, by the way, welcome aboard. Press that button. If you'd like to get notified when the next episode's released, press the little bell icon next to it and YouTube will let you know. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's episode, now that's, where am I going with that? If you have enjoyed today's episode, do me a favor, press the thumbs up button underneath this video. If you have any questions or comments about anything which we've been uncovered today, you can let me know in the comments section underneath this episode. And it's time for me to wrap up. Thank you very much for joining me here this morning for a quick cuppa and a chat about RC. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So it's time for me to go. And on that note, from myself, Matt, cheerios, bye-byes.